The Madison Square Garden Network is the TV home to the New York Knicks and the Rangers, but if you're a Time Warner Cable subscriber in New York, you might not be able to watch these teams after December 31st. The fight between the network and the cable company over fees signifies a larger problem that pay TV systems may soon be pulling the plug on costly sports content. The current deal between MSG and Time Warner Cable expires at midnight January 1st. At issue are fees. Time Warner says MSG wants 53% more for its programming. As of now, the cable company is refusing to pay. But while almost 3 million New York fans would be in the dark if a deal is not reached, the dispute highlights a broader issue in the cable and satellite world. Most large pay TV services have been complaining about the high cost of sports programming, an issue exacerbated by the recent NFL deal that hiked rates for broadcasters by 60 percent. The deal created such a backlash, some cable systems are considering putting sports on a specialty tier so they don't pass higher costs on to all subscribers. Dish Network chairman Charlie Ergen suggested in November the day may soon come when pay TV systems stop broadcasting sports altogether. We have to have deals that make sense. And there certain, certainly becomes a time when a deal doesn't make any sense and, and, and a sports offering might not make sense. And that's been the case for us in New York. And joining us from Denver is Wonderlick Securities Analyst Matthew Harrigan. He covers the cable companies. And Matthew, what do you think? Can they get a deal done? I think this is going to be more protracted than what we've seen in the last, uh, you know, couple of months. I think in, the, in, in these past disputes, I think the programming, uh, you know, companies have been the clear winner, whether it be a, a Fox or, you know, w whatever. I, I think this particularly early in the season, this is going to take a while to work its way out. And what's really happening now is, is not only are, are the cable and satellite uh, MSOs, uh, you know, complaining about uh, the acceleration in the sports costs, but some of the other, you know, content companies who, who feel that they are not getting comparable uh, price increases are complaining as well. I mean, the, Vi the Viacom uh, CEO, Philippe Demont, was commenting on that uh, you know, comparatively, you know, recently. So I think this is going to be nasty. I, I think both sides are, are very entrenched, and I think certainly MSG is a quality product that people will want to have. But I think both sides are going to have to g give a little bit in this in this instance. Right. What, what do you think about the idea of sports programming being taken out of a traditional cable package? I think that's going to be very difficult to do. I mean, sports is pretty deeply rooted in, in, in U.S. culture. I think with the antitrust exemptions with the league and everything, uh, you would have a lot of uh, you know, political I issues as well if, if, if consumers were perceived as being priced out of the sports uh, market. So I, I think both sides need to be uh, very careful here. And yeah, we're going to have to accommodate the reality of the, of the leagues and, uh, and all that. But uh, you know, this, this is going to take a while to work its way out. And I think uh, you know, the sides here are, are a little bit more evenly matched than we've seen in some of the more recent disputes. And we should point something out. When ESPN has to pay huge dollars for sports rights, it is in part because of new technology. They're getting the rights not just to air uh, sports on ESPN, but it's on mobile phones, other new devices, devices we haven't even thought of yet because things are going to change in 5, 10, 15 years from now. Oh, I, I think it's absolutely critical that there's a better, you know, technology package value for the consumer. You know, we certainly saw that most notably with with the World Cup. You know, people watching that, you know, mobile, you know, streaming, and all that. But when you really get these outlier economic uh, deltas, it's, it's it's pretty hard to accommodate that uh, you know, just through new, new distribution media. You know, I think ESPN at least has been pretty realistic about uh, you know trying to provide more value to the MSOs through the mobile yeah. rights and and all that. Uh, you know, some of the other, you know, content guys, not necessarily just on the sports side, are looking to get paid, you know, discreetly, uh, fairly significant incremental amounts, you know, for that. But that's certainly something that has to be, uh, you know, t taken into the envelope on, on these new deals. All right, Matthew, thank you so much for your perspective on this story, which isn't over. Matthew Harrigan joining us from Denver.